How often should you mow your lawn? I hear this question often, so I wanted to address it. Some people say the common time to mow your lawn is once a week. Some people say every other week. I've even heard someone say once a month. And the answer is, it all depends. So let's get into it now. So one of the determining factors on how often you should mow your lawn is at what height you currently mow your lawn at. Now, you can take out a tape measure and actually measure the turf and see how long the grass is, or you can generalize. Generally, most people will cut blue grass, which is mostly what we have here in Denver, Colorado, anywhere between two and a half to three inches, which is the best height for the maintenance of bluegrass. Now, if you're somewhere else or even down south, some of you guys have warm season grasses. Some people like to uh, grow rye grass and some of those grasses you can cut pretty short. But I'm going to talk specifically about bluegrass. So one thing to keep in mind is that the shorter you cut your lawn, the more often it needs to be cut because there is a golden rule when it comes to mowing your lawn. You should only cut off one third of the blade of grass. So let me repeat that. One third of the blade should only be cut at a given time. So let's say for example, you're mowing at three inches. Well, you can do that in your head. You just take three divided by three, which is one. So you should never cut more than one inch of extended grass off the blade at one time. Let's say you mow your lawn at two and a half inches. Well, for those of you that are older, you can do this in your head. For some of you younger folks, you just take out the calculator here and 2.5 divided by three is, not 7.5, 2.5 divided by three, I multiplied it, is 0.83. So let's just round down a little bit and that's roughly three quarters of an inch, roughly. So you don't want to take more than three quarters of an inch off your blade of grass each time you cut the lawn. So now when you're cutting higher, you, can, you actually have more room in there to cut. And actually, you know, for example, if you're, you're, you're cutting at, I don't know, let's say you're cutting your lawn at an inch, which is really short. That means you could only take a little more of a quarter inch off at a time. I'm rounding again. So as a general rule, the lower you cut your lawn, the more often it should be cut. The higher you keep your lawn and cut your lawn, the less often it needs to be cut. But what does that mean exactly? So let's talk about that. So if you're, we're talking about bluegrass and you're mowing your lawn at two and a half or three inches or two and three quarter inches, which is generally what we recommend there for a nice look, is uh, you're going to need to cut your lawn probably once a week. Now, there's another factor to consider here. The time of the year, because when in the spring, the lawns are growing at such a fast rate and it needs to be cut more often. Now, I know you're going to think this is crazy. But when the grass is growing that fast, and if you're roughly cutting it at three inches, you're only supposed to take an inch off the, the rule of one thirds. And that means that you're gonna actually need to cut that lawn two times a week. And most homeowners are thinking like yourself, whoa, well, I don't have time to cut my lawn two times a week, and I don't have I don't want to spend the money to have my lawn care company come every, you know, twice a week. It's just not going to happen, John. I get it. But I'm just telling you what should be done. So in the springtime, when it's growing fast, you might need to cut the lawn for uh, twice a week. What happens now if you cut more than a third of the blade of the grass off? Well, the lawn becomes just simply stressed. It gets stressed out, and what that means is it shrinks up the root system. The roots shrink up, and you don't want that to happen, because when that happens, the lawn is more vulnerable to drought stress, to disease stress. It doesn't grow and thicken up as quickly, and so you don't want to stress out the lawn. 
So you want to try to only take a third of the blade of the grass off. Now, when we mowed lawns and had a, a huge mowing division, I probably mowed 50,000 lawns throughout my lifetime. I started when I was young and mowed for years in the field. And then we, 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 end, we ended up selling our mowing division. We don't do that anymore. We just do lawn care. But what I learned about mowing lawn from our customers that we used to mow is that they would call in and they would want their lawn cut bi-weekly, which is generally twice a month. And really the only reason that they wanted that done is to save money. And I get it. I like to save money too but that is not the best thing to do for your lawn. So some other factors to consider when how often you should mow your lawn is that what time of year is it? How fast the grass is growing? I mean, if the grass is growing slow and you're, only, you're still only taking a third of the blade of the grass off, maybe you can mow every two weeks. That might be feasible. But if you're fertilizing the lawn, which you want to do, and watering it properly, which you want to do to thicken it up, to get it green, to make it look awesome, you're, you're, you're going to need to cut probably more than every other week there. So just let me, let me conclude here that number one, it depends on what time of year. It depends on what height you keep your lawn. And just remember the rule of thirds. Don't be taking more than a third of the grass blade off at any one time. It's that simple and I promise you, you're going to have a much healthier lawn and a better looking lawn if you follow this little trick there. Now if you want to learn more about how high or how low you should cut your lawn in terms of mowing, we can get into that because I have another video right over here that you can click and we can dig into that deeply and to see at what height you should cut your lawn. Thanks for watching and remember, a green lawn makes you smile.